Hi, everybody. I'm Steve here again with Nicole. How you doing, Nicole? Good. How are you? I'm doing really good. So we're going to talk about something that's really important, right? Mm -hmm. Like fortifying food with vitamins. Um, so, you know, I'm, I can lay on the sarcasm pretty thick, <laughs> you know, ask my wife, but I always try to get the processed orange juice at the store that's fortified with vitamin C because vitamin C is good for, why are you laughing? <laughs> why are you laughing? Vitamin C is good for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's so delicious and sugary. Yes, there we go. You're hitting the nail on the head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us about this. Okay, so lots of people don't understand this. And when they see the label, when it says en enriched or fortified, they're like, oh, I'm doing something really good for myself. And it's, it's I think it's ridiculous. Um, just like you just said. It is stripping a product. Well, fortifying is adding nutrients into something that didn't originally have it. So, okay. So I see this all the time. Enriched or fortified with vitamin C to an orange juice. That doesn't make any sense. If you think about it logically, if you eat an orange, you're getting vitamin C but now I have to go to the grocery store and I have to buy an orange juice that has been stripped down and vitamin C put back in. Why is that? Because they've taken all the nutrients out, they've processed it so heavily that now they have to put the good back in. That makes zero sense to me. When you see fortified, or enriched, it does not mean that food is healthy. It, it actually means the opposite. They have completely annihilated flowers because they've stripped it down of all its goodness and then they've enriched the flower with gluten and all those kind of things. So this is again, much like our other topic, it, it's, it's just, bait and click. It's seeing some words on a label that you're like, oh gosh, I must be doing something good for ourselves. Do you know who has to have enriched and fortified the most? Children. Children right now do not have nutrients and vitamins in their system. And that is a perfect testimony as to what we have done to food. Yeah. And also, Let's mention that what they're fortifying these foods with is synthetic. 100%. Yep. This is synthetic, which you could also call chemically produced. <laughs> you know, it, and I think it's because kids don't eat whole foods. Right. We, they don't have whole foods for breakfast. Right. Do you know, cereal is one of the biggest culprits of this. And what are we shoveling down our kids' throat? Cereals. Cereals because it's fast. We have lost the day of making foods that are good and healthy for us. And that, that is such a shame because like we had just talked about, we're seeing 16-year-olds with fatty liver. And, and I see more people in my practice with autoimmune conditions starting in the teens and going up. I just did tests on three, people, three teens. They're about 17. And one can't even have a solid bowel movement at all. She's terrified to eat. And that's because she's grown up on these kind of things. Not, and I'm not calling us parents out. We did the exact same thing. Yeah, but, we did. But I remember eating things that were bad for me back then, and it was not like it is now. We have completely changed our food. For sure. We talked about that before, you know, off camera and on camera. We ate junk. I yep. ate donuts, but the donuts were different. Yep. You know, everything was different. Drinking out of the hose, you know. Yep. It, 
out outside. It was different. Yeah. Um, yeah, something's different. And, um, I, I guess we would leave our audience with this, right? Um, eat whole foods and eat organic. Right. right. Okay. When you're, you're eating meat, fruits, vegetables, if there's just one thing that we could say, and you know, we had just a few seconds to say it, it would be eat whole foods and eat organic. And that's going to go a long way, right? And, and please do your research. When I go into a grocery store and I see things like enriched or fortified or, you know, all the labels that they put on now, it always piques my interest. Okay, what did they have to do for that? So then I deep dive. It takes me 10 minutes to figure out what those things mean. And then I logically think if they have to take a good product and strip it down and re-put in synthetic vitamins to it, I don't want that. I'll go eat an orange. Yeah. If you eat whole foods, um, I would challenge you all to go try and find um, fortified whole foods. Totally. <laughs> That's a great oh, thing. great. This apple is fortified with vitamin C. I'm <laughs> buying it. <laughs> yeah, you won't find it. <laughs> Just make sure you get organic. So, yes. Nicole, if people want to find out about your program, your nutrition program, and all that you do, how do they get a hold of you? You can reach me at thegutgirl1 at gmail.com. I will give you $100 off if you mention this to the program as a whole. Um, and I can read labs. We can figure out what tailor is, tailored nutrition is to you and you know, figure out what's going on, why you have weight loss resistance, all that kind of good stuff. All right. As always, Nicole, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me.